Synchronous parallel counters are incredibly popular nowadays, which is primarily explained by their high efficiency. These devices can easily replace asynchronous counters and serious carrier synchronous counters in any circuit. If required is the high speed, they are hugely advantageous if compared to all the other kinds of these devices. The output pattern of synchronous counters is set simultaneously to any number of discharges without the need to apply additional output registers that are an absolute must in a case of asynchronous counters and series carry synchronous ones. Let's look at the various methods for cascading counters using the example of IE17 microchip. When two counters are connected, the carry output CR of the junior counter is connected to the expansion inputs of the senior counter ECT. Zero level is supplied to the inputs ECR of both the counters. The condition for current operation will now be simple and easy to meet. The clock cycle C should not be less than the delay in generation of the carry signal CR. When connected at three counters, the situation becomes a bit more complex. The signal from the carry output of the first counter is supplied to the ECT inputs of the second and third counters. The signal from the carry output of the second counter is supplied to the ECR input of the third counter. As a result, the third counter will count only when there is a carry on both, the first and the second counters. The condition for correct operation remains unchanged. The clock cycle C should not be less than the delay in generation of the carry signal CR. Now, problems start when we connect four and more counters, because the senior counters have no unoccupied control inputs to collect the carry signals from the senior counters. That's why in this case we need to use the ability of the input signal ECR to prohibit the output carry signal CR. The fourth and following counters will now be supplied with the carry signals generated only by the first counter and the one before that, instead of from all the preceding counters. In such connection, we observe accumulation of carry signal delay. The maximum delay will be registered for the carry signal of the second counter. The condition for correct operation of all the counters would be as follows. The clock cycle C should not be less than the total delay of the carry signal till the entry of the last counter. The more the number of the connected counters, the lower the limit clock frequency. But in any case, provided that the condition for correct operation of the devices is met, the circuit will operate as an ideal counter which means that all the digits of a multi-stage counter will switch simultaneously.